week earlier at the E2E paint shop. Take 52. Welcome at the E2E channel. <laughs> Today I like to talk about two things which can't be more different. A Chinese electric scooter, the Turbo Armed X7 Pro and the most expensive color I could ever find, Cerakote. Cerakote is a ceramic coating which is used for weapons and firearms and what I like to do is I like to cover my complete scooter in this color because it's purple and everything looks better in purple. Not so much talking, let's do it. For the Cerakote guys, I'll show you the application of the color. And for the scooter guys, I'll show you how to dismount the scooter, how to paint it professional at home, how to reassemble it, maybe how to ride it. So let's start. Yeah, but why is this project so crazy? Because no one ever would paint a scooter which costs only $499 with a $150 color. Yeah, that's a very affordable scooter. It costs $4.99 if you use the discount code in the video description and if you buy it in the Turbo Arm shop, link in the description. And I paid for this $150. Yeah, it's nearly half the scooter, but I have a reason for doing that because that's a ceramic coating which is absolutely durable. And yeah, as mentioned before, it's used for firearms and motor parts. And that's what we need when we like to paint these anodized scooter parts. Yeah, you can throw the scooter around, you can ride, uh, ride them in harsh environments. That's what I like to do. And it's also easy to reassemble all these parts when they are painted because the coating is absolutely thin. It's made for firearms. And yeah, when you know a gun, you know how it works. That's what we need on all these parts, on all these mechanic parts. So let's do it and let's paint the scooter. <laughs> Yeah, here they are, all the scooter parts are dismounted everything, and I mean really everything. The electronics, the wheels, the fenders, the fork, scooter itself. And what I have to do now is I have to remove this color. That's also a ceramic color, but black, that's not what I want. I want the purple because everything looks better in purple. What we have to do is we have to change to the blasting cabinet. I do media blasting. You can do also a hand sanding by hand with sandpaper. 600 grit to remove the color and you are done. I go the easy way with the media blasting cabinet, so let's do it.
And I'm back from the media blasting cabinet and as you have seen under the glass bead blasting of all these aluminum parts and some of the plastic parts like the fenders, all the parts I like to paint. And now let's talk about what's important when you use Cerakote. That's no promotional video, I paid the full price, $150 for only that. That color is very expensive, but there's a reason why I've chosen that. That's a ceramic coating made for firearms, so it has a huge resistance against any impact and heat. I don't need the heat resistance, but what I need is a very strong color with a huge resistance against any impact, because maybe the scooter is thrown on the street or against the wall and I don't want the color to chip off. And if I use primer color and clear coat, that can happen very easy, so a ceramic coating is perfect for these scooter projects. But we have only the coating, no primer, no clear coat, nothing. So we have to be very careful about the preparation of all these parts. Glass bead blasting is perfect because it removes exactly all the old color, all the dust, all the debris, everything. You can do it also by hand, by wet sanding, but you have to be very careful. Everything has to be removed. And when you've done that, you have to clean these parts very careful. And to clean the parts, you can use acetone like this in a spray bottle. There's also acetone in the color, so that's the perfect cleaner for all the metal parts. But don't use it on the plastic parts, because some of the plastics can react with acetone and the acetone can destroy the plastics. So what can we do instead? We can use alcohol like this to clean all the plastic parts. That's what I have to do. But before I can clean the parts, I have to remask some areas like the bearing seats on the board and the battery case because I like to paint only the cover, not the battery itself. So I have to do the remasking. And when I've done that, I have to do the cleaning. And when you've cleaned the parts, use rubber gloves. Don't touch these parts again. You have grease on your fingers and don't leave fingerprints on these parts. That's not good. So when you clean, start to use rubber gloves and never touch these parts again until they are painted, okay? That's what we have to do. I do the masking of the battery of the board and then I change to the paint booth. I have to find out how to hang these parts because I've never done a scooter before. That's my first scooter project. Also the first time I use Cerakote. So let's find out how it works and let's do it. Let's talk about how to load a spray gun and which spray gun to use if you work with Cerakote. And as you can see, you need a bit more like personal safety gear. I'm wearing a paint suit, rubber gloves, and the most important gadget regarding safety gear is a proper spray mask with minimum NA2 filter. The fumes of the colors are toxic, so that's what I highly recommend because playing with self is absolutely no fun. And if you don't have one, find some underneath the video in the video description. I linked you some spray masks, so please buy one yourself if you don't have one. And if you don't have a paint booth, please paint outside because the fumes of the colors are also explosive. And if you don't have a well-ventilated room, please paint outside. That's what I recommend. Now let's talk about the spray guns. For Cerakote, a mini spray gun is recommended with a 0.8 needle nozzle combination. That's what's mounted inside and also an aluminum cup. I'm not really sure why the aluminum cup is recommended, maybe because of the acetones and the colors which react with the plastic cups. So use an aluminum cup, that's what's recommended. So let's do it. What you also need is a 150ml mesh to filter the color here and you have to prepare the color because the solvents of the colors settle on the bottom of the cup. You can see it here. Here are the solvents. That's the acetone and the thinners. Now we have to mix it minimum five minutes. Shake it well, as hard as you can for five minutes and you're on the safe side. Let's do that first and then let's load the gun. And don't forget to put on your spray mask before you open the container. I mounted all the parts I like to paint on my paint stands and sometimes you have to be a bit creative mounting them but what's important is that they are fixed, that you can't twist them or blow them off when you spray color with the pressure of the spray gun. That's very important 
And what's also important is that they are mounted in nearly the same position like mounted on the scooter, on the bike, on the car. Check the fenders here, you can see it. I mounted them in exactly the same position. They will be mounted on the scooter. That's what a pro does. I degreased all the parts with the alcohol and the acetone and now it's time for color. Before we can start painting, we have to use a tacky cloth like this and what it does is to remove any smaller dust particles on these parts. So wipe them off, clean them all before you apply color. That removes all the smaller dust particles. I've already cleaned all the parts, so it's time for color. But before I can start, I have to turn on the ventilation and when the ventilation is on, you can't listen to my voice, you can't understand what I'm talking, so I do it dry. What I do is light coatings but wet coatings the color should be wet on the parts but not too wet so you have paint runs so make sure wet on wet two coats i start with one let it dry for maybe five minutes another one and we are done that's what i do let's put on the ventilation and let's start Back from the paint booth three days later because this color had to air dry three days minimum before you can build the parts. And at the end, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. I had to do three layers of the Sarah coat, nearly the complete bottle, it's nearly empty. That is the result. What a nice color. So let's do all in reverse and let's put the scooter back together. I will start with the electronics, with the display, brake levelers. Then I will do the battery, front motor, rear wheel, and we are done. Yeah, the scooter is done, what a nice color, but there's one thing which bothers me. Check this, we have a red throttle, red brake cables, but a silver bell. Who? No, that's a no-go for a designer like me. So let's grab this brake cam and let's solve the problem. Yeah, problem solved, now let's go and ride it. <laughs> 